Halo Heroes Series 17. Now, this is something that, for some reason, caused a lot of controversy. I even feel a bit strange showing these off, considering what a tumultuous time this series has gone through, far more than any other. So if you're not up to date with the lore, Series 17 had basically the worst launch ever, basically the worst distribution ever, and the majority of them were, um, let's just call them offshoots, because I don't know if they were fake. I think it's like mildly irresponsible to call them fake because we don't know that. Uh, my better guess is that they were offshoots from the factory that weren't very good. By and large is that there are massive amounts, way more than good, out there that are shockingly bad quality. And you can check out uh, Demarcation Media's comparison video on that. So, you know, I'm not gonna talk about that at large. I'm gonna talk about these. These ones are Mint Series 17. And these are, you know, absolutely Halo Heroes level quality. These are what we're after. This is Series 17 at its finest. I can't even remember who got me these because it was so long ago. But whoever it was, if you're watching this video, thank you so much. They still do have like a bit of a funny application, like the card just doesn't quite meet uh, each side correctly. But these are the real deal. I also own a pair of the offshoots, a set of the offshoots, and I've compared them side by side. These are clearly the better ones. So in series 17, you have Spartan Yoroi, its debut alongside the Silver Yoroi in Mongoose Outriders, which was also uh, uh, not the best distributed. Then you have the Weapon, this is, uh, you know, the Cortana 2.0. Pretty cool that we're getting this. We're gonna open all these up today. Of course, we've got Spartan Agrina. The offshoot Agrina's face looks particularly monstrous, looking really good. And then Spartan Coven. This is one of the characters from the novels and, you know, one that I think was probably meant to be fleshed out in game, was probably meant to be a main character. We know the deal, we know the story. There was a lot axed from Halo Infinite. And this is Brute Chieftain Ignovus. The Halo heroes nowadays, they don't quite have the same feel as they used to. When you had an original series like Series 1, they are clearly all the same series. They come with matching colored base plates. These are less so. I kind of don't mind it because I do enjoy the banished print on there, but I was sorting out my Halo heroes the other day and I just did not know the difference between series 15, 16, 17 and 18 because they're all just these random base plates with their faction on them but I mean it, it's neither here nor there I'm, I'm over it I'm not that bothered so what are we gonna open first let's go for Spartan Agrina why not also a big shout out to Mega reducing the packaging more and more like this is now less and less uh, plastic by the day we still don't have a name for this helmet in game here's Spartan Agrina this is actually looking fantastic. Um, this is obviously Halo Hero level quality. We've got this little B emblem to do with her, like, I think it's her faction or a Spartan something. It, it's, it's, there's some in-game lore. And then we've also got this little, uh, this is probably the Training Academy, Johnson's Training Academy, if I was to guess. And yeah, it's it's a nice figure. It's got good paint apps. It's it's solid. We're gonna pop and swap off for the helmet. The helmet has only come out in a couple of other things. Maybe one other thing, one of the bizarre battlegrounds or something like that. So I can't quite tell you where, what this helmet came in. I could tell you like every single set that an EVA came in in the original Halo Mega Blocks, but that's is what it is. This is great. And um, that is actually a really, really nice rifle. That's the first painted version we've got. I love that speckling effect inside, apart from like the metallic sheen, you've got some really nice effect going on through that. This is a solid figure. Honestly, just a solid figure. I get why this head mold has a hole in the head because you wanna be able to reuse it as a Marine. Mega want to still use this print as a Marine, like the Miranda Keys head mold has been used in many Marines since, but it does kind of, uh, it doesn't ruin it, but it's a shame. Can she hold her helmet nicely? Yeah, there we go. That is Spartan Agrina. Also, uh, this blind bag series, straight after this one, I'm gonna be releasing my blind bag series Series, uh, blind bag, did I just say blind bag like three times? My Halo Hero Series 18 review, and then we're doing the quest for every Halo Hero part. I think it's eight. And then the next Halo Heroes episode we're gonna have will have completed our Halo Heroes collection 100% complete. That's the aim anyway. We'll see how we do. Come on out, there we go. A pretty standard sniper rifle, I think, and uh, you know, I don't know, but I think the sniper rifle is probably the weapon to have the most painted 
iterations. That's a nice amount of sniper rifles. Maybe I should do a video one day of every painted sniper rifle in Halo Mega. All right, so this is our Spartan, one of the key players in one of the books, uh, the Rubicon Protocol. You do not get much better paint application than that. That is crazy. I mean, oh yeah, that's, that's the stuff of legends. I mean, the camouflage is always just so great to show off the capabilities of Halo Mega. That's legendary. I love that. That's so epic. That's actually, whew, that's actually a great figure. Yo, that's uh, low key. That might be one of my new favorite figures. That's low key, so sick. It ain't much low key about it, it's high key. Look at that. Got a gray undercoat and then all these green and cream accents highlights. Second half of the limbs is this light green, quite similar to the smuggler's intercept. Oh yeah. It's like a like it's like a dark gray, yeah. Phenomenal. I don't see any issue with this. This is perfect paint application. Also, I do get that like it's it's painful to not be able to find these online and know uh, a trusted reputable seller to buy them. It's really challenging. The only ones that I've heard of that have been like really good quality are ones that made it to stores. There were some retailers that stocked these, not many. You are going to be paying quite a lot for, um, you know, the good version of these. The, the, the lesser version, they're still good, like they're still Halo Heroes and you can actually get them cheap because, uh, you know, they're not as good quality. So Chinese sellers are um, selling them for real cheap. So pros and cons, if you wanted to get this series, it's a really cheap series to get. It's just not going to be as good quality. Now, this is really cool. I actually thought when I first saw this, I thought it was uh, just one solid color, but no, it's two. It's got that sort of speckly light gray that we're very used to with Halo Mega, and then this almost like very dark blue. This is really nice, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't mind this at all. And we've got our uh, Brute Chieftain. I don't expect much from a Brute Chieftain like this, although um, if you look at like the NMPD Pelican Brute Chieftain, that's a real Chieftain. Interestingly, there's like, there is a bit of a color change between this like, this is like the cartoonish kind of goofy metallic red that we've had in things uh, like the Recon Getaway before, or not Recon Getaway, uh, Gungoose Gambit. I do like that gray highlight there. And then this headdress is a bit of a darker red. I remember when I first got this Chieftain in Heroes 13 or 14, and um, you know, they're very similar in um, their quality. There's not really, I guess, I guess this, uh, this new one, Oh no, because it balances out, because like this leg strap, there's there's highlights there when there aren't here. But at the same time, there's way more going on on the legs and the toes are actually painted, which is, you know, shout out to some painted toes. I guess this one might have a little bit more going on, uh, but it's hard to say. Oh, that chest is really nice, though. I do love that banished sort of V. They're both great. They're both great. The fact that this is actually a character in the game is really good. What Mega should be doing is uh, utilizing the fact that there are so many bosses in Halo Infinite and they have a lot of the molds for them because they're just like generic uh, characters but with like different paint apps and uh, names. So uh, Mega should be doing that a lot more and including, you know, more named characters in things like battle packs because we've had ones that resemble things like Brutus in the Banished Garrison pack and welcome to my tower Master Chief in the Scorpion. That's three of our heroes. I'm liking what I see. I'm liking that there's a boss for the two uh, Spartans to take out. But we've got another Spartan now, so I don't think this Brute Chieftain really stands a chance. We've got the Yoroi, and I'm saving the weapon to last because I'm really excited about the weapon. I've been excited to get that for quite a long time. Ah, ha, ha, and a painted Cortana, uh, Cortana, Katana as well. That's something that you don't see every day and I'm sure most collectors would want. I guess if you wanted painted Cortanas, just buy a cheap versions of the, uh, you know, the lesser print quality Euros. That might work for you. Gosh, ain't that just something else? That is a gorgeous figure. Love the soft plastic belt. Love those gold accents. That is Perfect. Half of the molding budget for the year went to this one, but it was worth it. The Yoroi was used so much in promotional material for Halo Infinite and in the original Tenrai events that it had to be something that Mega went in on and produced, you know, a really nice figure for. Let's have him cleaning his sword. And what's really nice about this, you do get a, an energy sword. It's uh, clear. We've never had this kind of clear blue before. That is new. We have a sheath for the sword. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> yes, I love that sheath. 
That's so epic. The final one. And yes, we did go down to five characters for Halo Heroes. It is what it is. Nice how we get a base plate that, or not even a base plate, just this large chip. Mega have always been good about, well, like if you're getting a figure that is not quite the same value because it is just one figure versus like, you know, a figure with a painted weapon, they'll give you something else. And this is really nice. You feel like some light is about to pull out of that. That's cool. So I guess you have the choice of either having the weapon like this or having her like this. And I guess that could come with the, uh, the Battle for the Ark Master Chief is probably too small for that to be in scale. I mean, it most definitely is. This is mega printing quality, again, at its finest. And we've had another Cortana with the Fleetcom Warthog that also has great paint apps, but that is something special. I am very impressed with, honestly, all of these figures. I mean, when they're not the, uh, the, the bad batch, they are really good. Like this is, again, just like, it's mega at its finest. It is, it's absolutely beautiful. Rank them, I mean, the, there's not as much going on with the Chieftain. It's good, but it, it, it's a simple Chieftain. What I think are you know, the real standouts is the paint apps on these three figures. That is exceptional, exceptional. How far Mega have come and how far I hope they continue to go. Look, even like the attachments, great modeling and great paint application. And gosh, I just love that sheath. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for my series 18 review. This was another video with the domain. You stay awesome. Awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And Spartan Yoroi is signing off.